Hi guys, welcome to Car Mechanical, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the rear boot hatch on your Audi A38L. So the very first thing we're going to have to do here is pull off this interior trim piece. I'm using a trim tool. You could just use a screwdriver or your hands and it will just pull down. What we're next going to do is use some Torx bits and we're going to undo these couple of covers that cover the rear hatch here. So I think they're T25 um, and you undo the two Torx bits and you can pull out this little cover. Do that on the opposite side as well. So now we're into the car and I have also removed interior bits as well. You can go a couple of ways on this. You can either strip out the interior to remove the boot or you can strip off the boot panels and disconnect all the electrics that way. Depends what condition your two boots are going to be in. Um, when we get a bit later into the video you'll see why there too. So I've undone the ground and what that lets you do is it lets you pull all of that wiring out so you've got the entire loom there. And on the other side, we're going to pull this loom out, but this one has had to be cut a bit because I couldn't find a connection. So what you might be able to save here is if you did take things out of the boot itself by pulling the boot trim off, that you don't have to pull all of this out. This is coming off a parts car, so I don't really care about the car, so I'm trying to keep the boot intact. Now, this was an issue here. This connector would not come through this hole, so what we ended up doing was taking a sawzall to it and cutting the hole open so we could keep the connector. So again, I mentioned you could take the trim panels off and you could just disconnect everything on the actual boot hatch itself. Or what you could do, which is a bit more involved, is remove each of the pins from the connector and then repin it when you put it back into a new car. So all we've done there, the shell has been scrapped on this car, so we've just cut this bit out. So holding the boot on now is the two bolts either side and then you've got the struts. So I'm just going to take the initial tension off of these bolts. I'm going to do that on both sides. Then in a minute you want to handle this one of two ways. You're either going to get a friend to hold it like I am or you're going to prop the boot up very carefully to make sure it doesn't fall on you, fall on the floor and then get damaged or get smashed. Okay, so I'm going to fully start undoing all of these four bolts. Um, I think they may have been 13 or 15 mil, uh, but basically get them all undone and then make sure as you're about to come towards the very last one, get the weight of the boot taken. And just one thing I'm going to point out in this video, I'm just showing you how to remove the hatch. Normally I'll show you how to take things off and how to put them back on. Uh, at this point when I was taking the car apart, I needed to get the whole thing finished over the weekend so it could be collected in the following day. So it's at this point I've got my friend now taking the weight of the boot because we don't want it to slip down. Now, it should be being held by the couple of struts, but you don't want to take any chances or you don't want it to slip sideways. Right, so that's the final bolt from the hinge undone. Now, with the struts, I've done a video on how to take these out and how to replace them. I'll pop it in the link below. But I just literally use a screwdriver and I'm just going to pop it off. And I don't care about these struts too much. Um, they're not great. You can't really see the detail on here. But they're a bit corroded. They wouldn't be ones that I feel would be good to either sell to anyone else or to use again. So both struts off. We've got my friend who is a very handy helper. He's just going to sort of manhandle that boot out of the way for me. And that's it. That's the boot removed. It's uh, not too bad of a job to do. The key point I've give you to take away from this is either take the pins off of the connector or take the interior trim off and disconnect the boot electrics that way. I've done this so I can remove the boot in its entirety with all the wiring on so whoever takes it off of me they can then go and use that boot however they want to use it. Okay guys I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to see the new videos that come out. Please share this video with anyone that you think would be helpful and more than anything guys thank you for watching.